Alright, so I've been slowly moving through the tutorial on uh, Kerbal Space Program. So if you go to Start Game and you go to Training, I guess. And if you do these two, uh, Getting Started and Basic Flight, this one teaches you how to build this little hopper, and then, then this one basically teaches you how to fly it. Now what I thought was interesting was, was when I did the tutorial, the maximum altitude I got to was about 14 kilometers. But if you go back and you start a new game and do sandbox mode, and you play the game, now I've already have one saved, so if I do resume, uh, resume, resume save, and I just do, um, you know, this guy here. So if you go through the tutorial and build the hopper and then launch it, you're going to go to about 14 kilometers. If you then go to sandbox mode, and I'm going to warp to the next morning here, um, so I can actually see what's going on. Um, so if you build the exact, literally the exact same rocket in sandbox mode, you'll actually get to about 20 kilometers. All right, sweet. So we are now in the daytime. So if I uh, go to, if I go to the launch pad, okay. Uh, let's see. Click it. Um, hit. Uh, I want to do the hopper, and then hit, uh, hit launch. Uh, let's see, go to hopper, yeah, clear the launch pad and proceed, recover hopper. Okay, so I already did a launch. Um, so if you look at the rocket um, in here, let's see. Do, do, do. Um, you can see that I've got the, uh, let's see, the RTF flea. It's got, you know, whatever units of 140 are. Uh, the command module, and then the parachute. Now the problem with running this in sandbox mode is that you actually get to 20,000 kilometers and you actually enter the atmosphere too quickly and the whole thing um, blows up. And so if you click here, the 774, this is like how much delta V you get. You can see the uh, ISP of the rocket, 140. You can see the thrust, 81.62. The thrust to weight ratio, the start and end mass, and the burn time of uh, 18 seconds. Okay, so um, I actually have, have taken these parameters and, and put them into this simulation. So if I go to go to Python here, um, I went to I went to Google, and you can go onto this wiki for Kerbin, and it'll tell you all of these things about the planet, the orbital characteristics of the planet, the radius of the planet, the mass of the planet. And all these things, and you can take these parameters in. It, there, there's even an atmosphere model, and I even grabbed this table in here to, to put this model in here. And so, like here, like I copied and pasted the curve and atmosphere in here. And I have this uh, code on my GitHub. But basically, like here's the planet parameters I have: the gravitational constant, the mass of Kerbin, you know, all this different stuff that I can use to compute. And I can actually simulate the rocket um, as it shoots through the air. And if you look here, I can grab these parameters. For the for the rocket, so if we go back, um, shoot, my computer is kind of laggy here. If I go back to the rocket, remember uh, thrust of eighty one point six two. So if I go to the rocket, eighty one point. Let's change that to six two. And um, let's see, let's uh, let's close Chrome because my computer is super laggy. Let's also close Zoom. Uh, and then let's see, there we go. So if I do 6.2, right? So then the, uh, the initial mass is 2.4 tons and the final mass is 1.4 tons. And so I have, this, I have this, this routine here that says like, as mass declines, you know, thrust is 81.62. And then once you're, you've expended all of your propellant, it's zero. Um, and so I can save that. The complicated thing about this simulation, and this is the difference between the tutorial and sandbox mode, is the drag coefficient. Um, supposedly there's an Aero GUI mod that you can get to learn what the drag coefficient is, and you can read all these tutorials and things on it. I couldn't get it to work in time, so I just put in some guesstimate parameters. But if I run this simulation, and again this uh, code is on my GitHub, you can see it. Here's the mass being expended, and it looks like it takes about 15 seconds to burn and if we go back to Kerbal it says that the burn time is about 18 seconds so it looks like our, our simulation is is pretty good 
Um, if we go here to altitude, I'm predicting with the drag, I, I made up the drag coefficients, I'm getting an altitude of about 21 kilometers, right? And this is why the tutorial is different. If you increase drag, right, if drag goes up, if you change the drag model, suddenly your burn time is the same, but now suddenly your altitude is 14,000. So it seems like the, um, the drag changed from the tutorial to sandbox mode, and I think it's a version issue. So in the tutorial, they tell you to use this parachute and to have it deploy at a certain altitude, but if you go too high, you're, you're gonna blow up. And so what we need to do then is we need to change the amount of um, propellant we have. So if I just cut the propellant in half, so instead of going to 1.4 to 2.4, half of that would be 1.9. And if I simulate that, let's see how high I go with only half the prop. Uh, let's see, it looks like I only get to, you know, four, four kilometers, right? So that's, that's, not, that's not that high at all. Um, or actually, you know what? It's a little bit more complex than that because I would think I would think this is still 1.4, but the initial the initial mass is going to go down. So that might because uh, you're you're removing prop from the ground. So let's see. Uh, let's see. I probably need to change the time step here. There we go. Uh, so let's see how high did I go in the sim. So let's see. I went to I went to like 7,000 kilometers. So let's see if I got this right. So let's go here and let's change the amount of fuel. It doesn't look like I can. That's no good. Okay, so what it means is, is that I need to go back, build a new rocket with um, less, less thrust or less prop. I'd like to do less thrust, so I, I'd like to keep the same amount of prop. So let's do 2.4. But instead of 81.62, I'm going to divide this by 2.0. And so I'm going to have half the amount of thrust. Let's see how high I go with half the amount of thrust. So there we go. That's about 15,000 kilometers. Um, so I like, I like that. Um, that's even a little bit too high in my opinion. Let's do instead of half, let's do like 30%. And let's see, because I, again, I want, my, I want to make sure my parachute doesn't get shredded. Um, there you go, so that's like seven, seven kilometers. So let's do that, so let's make a new rocket. Um, so I'm going to, let's see, hit escape, and I'm gonna go to the Space Center, and let's build a new rocket with 30% of the max thrust. Same prop, 30% max thrust. Ready? So we're gonna go to the Vehicle Assembly Building, and then, uh, so, uh, okay, I'm actually, uh, I've already built the rocket. So if you, if you want to build this rocket from scratch, you go to pod, grab a command pod, go to utilities, grab the parachute, and then you can go to engines, and you can grab the fleet here, and you just drop everything in. Uh, right mouse moves it around, middle mouse wheel up and down, hold shift, middle mouse wheel, in and out. So what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, yeah, see, I've already, I've already limited the thrust to 50, I'm going to limit the thrust to uh, 30%. Alright, so there's, uh, that's 31%, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save this rocket now and launch it. And let's see, done. And so hopefully, um, I only get 30% of the thrust if I did it right. What do you think? Okay. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So um, I'm still a little concerned because I have a delta V of uh, 774, but my thrust is only 50.61 now. So let's actually let's actually put that into the sim. So let's get rid of this and let's put 50.61. And then run that. Okay, yeah, see, I'm still going too high. See, I don't, I don't quite understand what that thrust limiter was doing. Um, so let's, uh, let's go back to the Space Center. 
Let's limit it even more. I guess I don't really understand what that limiter does. Let's go in to, let's go back in here. Do do do. So let's uh let's bring it down ten percent. Now our thrust is eighteen point seven three. Okay, so let's go to eighteen point seven three. That really brought it down. So there's eighteen point seven three kilonewtons of thrust, and my altitude is whoa. That doesn't look right. Something. Something goofed up in my uh, simulation here. What's going on? Why does it go? Do I not have enough thrust to get off the ground? It's possible I don't have enough thrust to get off the ground. Uh, so let's uh, let's increase that then. Let's keep this. So there's 26.88. Okay, there's 38.28. Let's try that. 38.28. Alright, beautiful. That's exactly how high I want to go. Okay, so 38.28. Supposedly I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna hit uh, 14,000 kilometers or 14 kilometers. So let's launch. Okay. And here we go. So now with a thrust of 14. What was it? 38.28 kilonewtons. Here we go. So 38.36 kilonewtons. Thru thrust to weight ratio is 1.6, so that's greater than one. And then our burn is 38 seconds. So that's actually another interesting thing because I'm burning less thrust. My M dot is, um, so if you look at your ISP, it's 140. You do ISP times surface gravity, which is 9.81 to get exit velocity. Thrust divided by exit velocity is your m dot. So if your if your thrust is lower, the mass flow rate is going to come down. So it's going to take longer to burn all the thrust. So I'm predicting 32 seconds. Uh, Kerbin Kerbal Space Program is saying 38, which is fine. All right, so here we go. So three, two, one, blast off, and I'm going to do a uh, little bit of a little bit of an arc here. I don't have that much thrust. Ooh, you know what? I am going to turn on, I'm going to hit T and turn on my stability augmentation system because it looks like I am already at like, I'm at like 56 degrees. So there is no way that I'm going to get to the altitude that I thought I was getting um, because I angled this thing like crazy. I'm at, what does it say, 10, 20, 30, well no, it's this way, right? So I'm at, I'm at like a 60 degree inclination, and I'm about to run out of fuel here. And it says I can't even arm my, uh, or I'm probably going too fast to uh, deploy the parachute. So I guess I was going too slow when I rotated the rocket and it caused it to go so if I hit if I hit M here, I can um, go to map view and I can kind of see here's my trajectory. You can see how crazy that is. So my apogee is only going to be about six thousand uh, meters, um, but it looks like I can go ahead and deploy my parachute. So that's going to slow me down. And uh, my my ver I mean I I realize that I literally deployed a uh, a parachute when I'm like ascending. Um, but my velocity was pretty low, so it's okay. Um, it looks like it's in the yellow region, so I was I did deploy it a little bit too quick, um, but uh, everything's good to go. Like uh, I mean, my surface velocity is coming down, and uh, my altitude is dropping, so I'm going to safely bring Valentina down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape and revert back to launch, and this time I'm just gonna go straight up and see if I can hit that, uh, let's see, uh, 14,200, see if I got the same number. So three, 
two, one, blast off. I'm gonna turn on stability augmentation and keep it vertical. And I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna take my hands off the controls. And I'm just gonna let it go. Uh, I'm gonna watch my delta V. What's interesting here is like, as you're expending thrust or, or mass, your thrust to weight ratio is actually climbing. So you're losing mass and so your thrust is constant. And so, well actually it doesn't look like thrust is constant. It looks like it's a little bit variable. It looks like they have a little bit of noise in there. Um, apparently you can hit F12 too, and you can plot like your angular velocity, or your, your, sorry, your aerodynamic drag term there. Um, Six. Over there. Nine. Lisa's measuring the table. So you can see that this red line is getting bigger as my surface velocity is increasing. Um, and so let's see, so my surface velocity is still increasing, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit burnout. Look at my thrust to weight ratio at like three. You know, I got a huge, here watch out, that's, uh, that's, that the audio is getting picked up. Okay, so now our thrust is zero, our mass is 1.4, right? So our surface velocity is still um, positive, but it's declining. So my acceleration is negative, but I'm still rising. If I hit M and go to map view, it looks like my apogee is around 11. So, you know, my, my drag model in the code that I wrote is not perfect, um, but it at least gives you kind of a ballpark estimate of how it works. Apparently the, uh, the aerodynamic models are really complicated. Uh, the aerodynamic model in Curvin apparently has Mach number uh, relationships, Reynolds number relationships, and although I was able to That's import the density two. model, I was not able to... Um, That's one. What's it called? Oh, so I need to get my parachute ready. And uh, I kind of want this thing to deploy sooner rather than later. Because I don't want to get... Um, I think I need to disarm it. And then... Oh, shoot. Come on, come on. Deploy, shoot. There we go. Can I shoot? Okay, so, I mean, at, at some point, I didn't go that high. I am f traveling very fast. That is kind of concerning. Um, it says it's still safe, but it hasn't hit... It hasn't hit the .75 of the atmosphere. Oh, shoot. No, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Woo! That was close. I totally went the wrong way. So um, what I did, I, I actually increased the minimum pressure, which means it actually needed to f get lower into the atmosphere to deploy. So I, I totally got that backwards. I was supposed to slide the slider to the left. So I'm glad that I fixed that at the last second because um, I totally, Valentina would have uh, not survived, unfortunately. Um, so there's my drag term, it's really big. At 1,000 meters, the chute is going to fully deploy and watch the surface velocity just completely come down and watch my red drag term come up. So there it is. It's a huge drag term. I'm still coming in hot. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was a ton of deceleration. Now, Valentina is freaking out because that was uh, super scary. But yeah, look at my surface velocity. That thing came down from like 200 meters a second to like six, really fast. Um, Are you gonna make it I wanna say in this game that re-entry is probably the hardest part about the game. Um, taking off, I, I, I haven't had any issues. So it looks like Valentina survived. So let's go ahead and do an EVA just for kicks. And uh, let's have her Climb up to the top. Oh, oh no! Valentina! She's up. She's up and she's walking. All right. Well, Valentina has made it. Let's take a nice screenshot. Boom. And then I'll uh, do one on my computer. All right, we made it. How was that? Cool. Cool? All right. See y'all next time.